Hi guys and welcome back to iClone 3D where we discuss tips, tricks and tutorials for the latest animation softwares and today I'm coming to you as a Pixar style character and I'm going to show you exactly how to create a character like this of your very self in you know a matter of minutes. It doesn't take very long, maybe 10-15 minutes using the pack below that I've linked in the description and without further ado let's crack on with the tutorial guys. So we're going to be creating this guy here. This is a stock image that I've got off the internet. And I'm just going to show you how easy it is to, you know, create Pixar style characters in a matter of minutes. And you can do that using the following pack here. I've linked it in the description below. But it's the cartoon character designer tune figures. Now this pack is game changing guys, because it really just allows you to have unlimited variations of characters that are in that true Pixar style. And that's not even to mention, you know, when you IRA render or path trace or ray trace, the results as you can see on the screen are mind blowing guys. You get some phenomenal, phenomenal results. And you know, that's just courtesy of this amazing pack here that I'm using to create infinity characters and you know, just go wild and create some amazing, amazing animations. So we're just gonna go into the pack and you can see inside we've got six different characters that are kind of preset that we can then start to mold and build off. So to create this character here, I'm gonna use this base and we'll just click no. And that's gonna load up the base and it's gonna keep the image behind that base. So you can just use it as a reference to kind of really get the character created as best as you can. So first things we're gonna look at here is the eyebrows. Now we can see, uh, we can't actually click on these eyebrows and you know, they're not looking exactly close to these ones. So we wanna get them a little bit closer. So to do that, what we're gonna do is just very quickly, we're gonna launch the skin head texture here into Photoshop by just clicking launch texture. That's gonna launch into Photoshop. Now, this is a very quick workaround guys. As you can see here, what I'm doing, I'm just using the brush tool to actually remove the eyebrows very quickly by taking a sample of the color underneath the eyebrows and then just brushing over it and that just removes it very quickly for you. And then all you wanna do is hit file, save, and that will then automatically load back into your character creator. Now we can see the bump map still visible. So, you know, don't panic here and think, oh my God, what's going on? It's a very quick fix. You just got to go over here into your textures and delete the bump map. And you'll see that will now remove the, the bumps that were underneath the eyebrows. And we've got no eyebrows, a plain face. So very simple guys. It took, uh, you know, the best part of a minute and now we can start to place the eyebrows on the character as we please. So firstly, we're going to start from top to bottom. So we're going to go hair, eyebrows, and then we're going to do the skin textures. And then we're going to start to kind of mold the face and really kind of get that looking exactly like the picture we've got there. So firstly, we're going to go into our eyebrows. And we're just going to... Uh, try and find the best possible solution for the eyebrows here. So I'm just going to zoom a little bit close in and we're just trying to kind of, you know, we don't have to get 100% accurate, but you know, just as close as we can. You can already see we've got a small obstacle here now because these character figures are CC free and not CC free plus. We do need to convert them by going into the modifier panel here and just hitting on this little convert button down here. So we can do that to either keep original, high quality, 4K textures or the medium 2K. I'm gonna go 4K because who doesn't love 4K? And I'll see you back in a moment. You guys can go and grab a cup of tea and some biscuits while this converts into a CC3 plus base. And we have converted our character to a CC3 plus. And just to double check that, you just wanna click in the modifier tab and where it says type, you can check here and it says CC3 plus character. So you know that's been perfectly converted. And now you can use all the blend shapes, the facial morphs, etc., the facial expressions on this character. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some eyebrows and we'll try these ones, which I think are pretty close to our character here. Um, they look pretty close. Uh, you could do some adjustments, but we are gonna settle for those because I kind of like the way they look. And remember, we are creating a Pixar character, so it doesn't have to be exactly accurate, but just as long as it kind of retains some of those details. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just start to play around with the hair and look for the right kind of hair that matches this character here. So 
I've got a good one from Reillusion. Um, I'll leave the link below in the description too. And this is called the Afro Buzz Cut, but I really find that it suits this character's hair quite well and um, looks pretty kind of close to our character there. So we've got the hair and the eyebrows. And now what we want to do is just adjust the skin texture to match our characters that we're trying to create. So to do that, uh, I'm going to actually go into my actor tab here. And this, another wonderful pack from Reillusion that's actually just come out. And this is already CC3+, plus, as you can see, so you don't have to do all the converting. But in this uh, pack, the Macatoons, the dudes, uh, there's actual preset of the skin. So if we click on skin here, you can see we've got dark skin overlay. So if I just double click on that, that should apply to my character. And then it just saves me adjusting the skin color here in the textures and just a much quicker and easier way to do it, I find. And now you'll see we've got our character uh, looking like our photo at the back. Uh, it could could do with a little bit more kind of lightening up, which we can do here in the skin tab if we click on our skin. And if we just scroll down here, we can play with the opacity and you know that will affect it as well and just kind of get it more um, accurate to the color of that character. Uh, we can also adjust um, opacity here and the contrast, etc. Uh, but you know, you can see it's only kind of applying it to the head. So we have to do it individually to each texture. So I'm not going to mess around with that too much. I'm just going to undo that. And I'm just going to play with the opacity up here to kind of try and find the right balance. And once I'm happy with that, we can click off of the editor and we'll go back to editing our character. So that should place the eyebrows and the hair back on and we can then start to fine tune the kind of morphs and the facial features of our character. Okay, so here we have the character and you know, we're not too far off, we are getting there and with just a bit of blending and morphing, we'll get accurate results. So we're just gonna get the nose and the eyes now. So to do that, we're just gonna come up here into the headshot and we're gonna be using the Headshot 1000 plugin. So that's gonna allow us to, you know, sculpt and, you know, blend and mold and do all sorts of creative stuff to our character. So you just wanna really start to refine things and we're just gonna work on the nose. And all I'm really doing here, guys, is just using these sliders to, you know, refine and to shape different aspects of the character's face, like the lips here, I've made them a lot more puffier. And you know, there's no real technique to it. I'm just using the sliders that come with iClonate and or Character Creator 4, sorry. And you know, we're just using these to really kind of refine the face and match the image behind us. And as you can see, we're getting closer now, we're doing the eyes. So we're just changing the colors of the eyes to a more black color and, you know, really kind of just tweaking the nose and tweaking the kind of head shape, the neck, etc. And this is really all you have to do just to refine it. Spend a little bit of time here, 10, 15 minutes. I'm just kind of, you know, making the head a bit smaller, a um, bit more kind of less width to it, a bit slimmer. We're bringing out the chin here, as you can see, and just kind of bringing down the cheekbones a little bit. And, you know, all these little kind of increments are really just going to refine your character and give you a much more refined look. So you can see, you know, just playing with the head at the top and just making it a bit more flatter and a bit more slim and just making the face a bit more slim, just kind of resembling the image. And here we have it, a finished product. It literally took me under 10 minutes to do that, just tweaking these sliders very quickly. And, you know, we can always refine it and go over it and make it, you know, more better and do more to it. But for now, I'm really happy with that as a Pixar character of this real to life model. And, you know, it really does look fantastic. So I really hope this tutorial helps guys. And, you know, I really hope it helps you go away and get creative. You can pick up the pack below in the description and really hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial.